trade-offs, efficient frontier, and the promise of operations management. If we consider the four dimensions of process performance, cost, quality, variety, and time, we realize that they are uh, connected and that managers uh, of operations often have to uh, make a decision, which is a strategic decision, whether to focus more on one of them at the cost of uh, sacrificing another. For example, if you want to provide higher quality, often it becomes at a higher cost. Um, if you want to increase variety or reduce responsiveness, again, this may uh, cause an increase in the cost, so re reduction in cost efficiency. Uh, but the other measures are also connected. For example, if you have higher variety, you might have a uh, harder time delivering high quality for all the possible variants of the product that you have. Uh, the same thing happens with responsiveness. Higher variety may mean that uh, you, know, you have much more variants of the products that uh, inventory uh, of a retailer, let's say, has to carry. And because of this, the time, the responsiveness in a, measured as a, is the product a the variant of the product that the customer desires? Is it available immediately or maybe there is a stock out and the customer has to wait for it? And similar uh, interactions can be done in, in actually every measure. So basically, there are strategic choices that uh, companies have to make when they design their uh, processes to deliver certain products or services. For example, compare uh, choices that a uh, fast food restaurant has to make on those four dimensions and the uh, choices of a high-end restaurant. Fast food restaurant will definitely focus on time because responsiveness is something that customers expect. Uh, on the other hand, the other dimensions, uh, while the customers would uh, be happy to have higher variety, very good quality and uh, very low cost, uh, they are not as important and a reasonable variety will be ac accepted similarly uh, acceptable quality and um, not too high cost will be will be something that customers will be able to accept on the other hand if you consider high end dining uh, responsiveness is not that important customers are used to waiting a bit longer for their meal to prepare as long as it is a very high quality meal as long as they have uh, good variety to choose from and perhaps even specify to, to the chef to modify a, a recipe to their liking. And then they, the customers expect that the price will be uh, probably uh, considerably higher than in the fast food restaurant. So operations management will make several promises. Uh, operations management helps us uh, support strategic trade-offs, helps us decide between the four dimensions of process performance um, and uh, basically place our operation somewhere in between. Uh, you, know, you cannot have all, uh, all dimensions optimized. You have to decide which one to focus more on. So here is an example of a call center in a large retail bank that also has to decide on those four performance measures and let's say their decision of how many operators to hire to answer uh, calls from customers affects two dimensions. On one hand, if you hire many operators, you will have better responsiveness. There will be more customers that will be satisfied because they you answer their call within a very short uh, waiting time. However, your cost efficiency is going to suffer because you will have more cost, more labor cost to answer the same number of calls. So you'll have uh, fewer calls per dollar of labor cost. Uh, you can, of course, decide to reduce your, uh, the number of operators and then you can move more in this direction, right? It's a strategic choice. There is no good answer here. There is just uh, a, a strategic decision what uh, is best for the, your operation and for your success of your company. The second promise is to identify and eliminate inefficiencies. So for example, if, you did, if, if we did a benchmarking study, and let's say this is our operation, and we find out that operators A, competitors A, B, and C have this kind of performance on the two measures, we might discover that they're actually doing quite a, a lot better, especially competitor C, who's beating us in both performance measures. The, the competitor C has much better efficiency and a little bit better responsiveness. So they must be doing something 
much better than we do. So there is a um, there is an opportunity here for us to improve and somehow at least match the, the performance of competitors if they have certain solutions. And the third promise of operations management is that it provides tools to evaluate system redesigns uh, or some new technology before we uh, occur, before we implement those in in real systems. So, for example, we might have um, a, a new way of uh, organizing our call center, or we might uh, automate part of it, and then we want to discover what kind of improvement will that bring to the uh, performance measures that we're. Uh, measuring here and if we discover that we can move to a solution which gives us higher cost uh, efficiency and at the same time better responsiveness or at least it improves one dimension without sacrificing on the other then this is clearly a, a, a great uh, um, process redesign and so we should implement it on the other hand if we discover that maybe uh, the, the the changes are not uh, so beneficial, then we might abandon a proposed uh, redesign.